G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cancer Now podcast. My name is Isaac Butterfield and this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Jim's Group. If you've never heard of Jim's Group, then I don't know what you're doing. With over 50 divisions, Jim's Group have a franchise option available for everyone. Now, a lot of people are thinking, hey, you just got to go to uni. That is not true. You can be successful in life doing a lot of things, including jumping on a franchise from Jim's Group. I'm sure you've all heard of Jim's Mowing. Some amazing people there. And you can make some really, really good cash running your own business. And you don't have to work for anyone. Some of these Jim's Group franchises are earning well over six figures and they're doing amazing stuff and you don't have to answer to some boss who thinks he's bloody king shit. You don't have to do that, all right, ladies and gentlemen, with Jim's Group. It's an amazing organisation and one of the best in the country when it comes to looking after their franchisees. Ladies and gentlemen, head to the link below to find out more about Jim's Group. It is a decision you will not regret, in my opinion. So thank you very much to Jim's Group for looking after us. So go and look after them. Now, on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Um, it's good to be back for episode 70. Gabe, did you figure that out? 71. Let's call it 71. Who knows? It could be anything. Bluey Nielsen's here as per usual. And we have, very rarely we have a guest, but we make sure they're good guests, gun guests. We have the great man, Nathan Patterson. Patterson? Patterson. 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 Why am I freaking out about it? I know what, how to read. <laughs> it's just felt weird, yeah. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's just freaking me out. I don't know why. Um, well-known uh, artist and all-round good bloke. How you doing, mate? Good, Welcome to the show. You. Thank you. Mate, you come up today and I very much appreciate that. And you have a fascinating story that I really want to delve into. Um, we, were, we, were, we were hooked up through uh, mutual friends of ours, yep. a friend of ours. And um, can you tell us about yourself? I think that's probably the best way to start. Yeah, so I, I grew up in Sydney, down in like Sydney's West, Guildford, Maryland's and that. Um, got in trouble through school, got in trouble with the law, got into drugs and gangs and... Just all that shit, yeah. Went to um, jail like as an adult between 19 and um, 35. Did 12 years all up and then um, got out. Found art in uh, jail. Started painting. When I got out, I just kept painting like I couldn't stop. Like Once I started painting, I painted every day. I got out and moved away from everyone. Mm. Um, started painting up there. Took me like three months to sell a um, painting to a friend. For $80, she bought it. 12 months later, I got into my first gallery and probably six months later, I got into the Asian market and then I just exploded. Yeah, so just my prices went up like shit, like 500% or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. Everything just went up. Got Ended up with 13 galleries around the world on wow. every continent, except for Antarctica, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to break into that market. Yeah. That, that's next. <laughs> hard, to, hard to break the ice. It's hard yeah. to promote the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> break the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on fire. Yeah. Um, so why the Asia market? Why do you think it exploded there? Oh, I think it's just the style. Yeah. And they've, they've become very big over there, and a lot of the world watches them now because they're like mm. into the auctions and they're buying all the big pieces. So everyone's watching watching the Asian market. So it was really good that it went up there, yeah. So Once I, I got with them, it was like all the galleries approached me and when I'd look, they were following my Asian galleries. So I was right. like, they're, they're poaching me from there. So sort of like, you yeah. you know, you're well, it's like you've, you've broken in, you're well known and now everyone wants a piece of your sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So I see a lot of incorporation of like well-known brands like yeah. um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, that type yeah. of stuff. How does that incorporate into your work? Also, like I like fashion, but I started doing them as fake right. stuff because everyone was painting the like normal Louis Vuitton and all that. So I actually painted it as fake, selling it as fake stuff. Yeah, like my unicorns, how they fake unicorns. Yeah. They got the straps on them. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I like I like the dodgy side of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, well, it's very interesting to see that because I know. Um, those sort of fashion brands are very yeah. big in Asia. Yeah. Like you see when, let's say you go to Melbourne or whatever, you go to Gucci yeah. or Louis, uh, you see a lot of people who have come over from some part of Asia and yeah. they're in there and they're like, they're spending big yeah. cash because they just, I don't, I don't know what it is about Australia, Australia with those particular brand stores, but yeah. they seem to really, really love it. Yeah. And it's really quite big. I'm not sure if in Asia they don't have access to certain things or. Well, no, nah, because I just come back from Korea and Japan. I went over there, I had an exhibition in Korea. 
But yeah, it's all over. It's there. everywhere. They just love it. Yeah. Yeah. They just. Yeah. I, I cannot. But like, you see some of the like, you know, I might go and buy some Gucci shoes and then freak out about it for six yeah. months because it's so <laughs> expensive. But they will drop tens yeah. of thousands of dollars yeah. and just a it's whole like wardrobe. A, um, like I feel like it's like a statement. Like you have to have it. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like they they have to have it. They don't see it as like oh I can go get a different shirt at Kmart or somewhere. Yeah. Well, we've got some of your art here. This is a. Um, like oh, a, I did that for my missus, yeah. <laughs> a Chanel, Chanel Care Bear. Yeah. Care Bear. It's, and it's like, it's a very different style. Like, so in the top left-hand corner there, or, you know, Channel, down, Channel Care Bear. Chanel. Yeah. Ch sorry. Channel. 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 Yeah. Channel yeah. Uh, Nothing's real, yeah. It's Vuitton yeah. Laton and Chanel. And what was it What was it for Louis Vuitton? Louis Laton. Louis Laton. Yeah. Goopy? <laughs> or what do you... I wrote like goo and then chi. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. chai? <laughs> 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 what does it say underneath the ch channel? The, there's like a little bit of writing oh, there. So yeah. it, it's like um, I'd have to. No, up in the uh, corner there, Gabe. Can you zoom in? Oh, do you love? Do 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 you love me this March? Oh, care bear. <laughs> care, care ball. Care bear. Yeah. All <laughs> uh, right. Because so I, write, I write everything so when you sound it out, it makes sense. It's like yeah, phonetic yeah, almost. Phonetic. I noticed yeah. with a few of your collections on your website are uh, uh, written like that as yeah. well, like the names of the collections. Because I was like having a flick through today and I was having to read them a few times and I was like, it actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. But I, I couldn't get it. Yeah. yeah. It was really funny. If you yeah. sound it out, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. And it's funny when people haven't figured it out and they look at the titles and they just must think... I had to have like yeah. a few goes at it today. I'm, I'm yeah. a scaffolder though, so I was like, I'd have a few cracks at it. But yeah, with um, I was Gabe, our producer, sent us a bit of like info on you, yeah, and uh, just like your upbringing, your background is so far from what you'd picture yeah. an, an artist yeah. to be. And I was listening to a podcast that you did, um, talking about the moment that you picked up the brush, or not, yeah. not the moment, but sort of like yeah, how how you kind of led to sort of pick up the paintbrush. Can yeah. you talk to us about that? Like the the fight that you got in, where you got treated in hospital with the ketamine and then oh, you, yeah, you were yeah. saying around that time yeah. was where you picked up the brush? I So I got sent to um, Goulburn where I had drama with some people, the, um, the white supremacy group. Um, I went into their yard instead of the other yard with my mates because I was like, I still had that attitude and, and I thought everything was mine. So I thought <laughs> that yard was mine too, you know. <laughs> so I walked in there like that, pretty much said, yeah, this is my yard now. <laughs> they got on the Zannies and Ice later on. They got a drop. It's a great combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a strange combo. Like yeah. you think it like you oh, know they'll take anything. Perks anything, you up yeah. and then brings you back down. Yeah. Is that? It's weird. Yeah. Fair I enough. don't know. I've, I've never tried it. But yeah, yeah. I, I guess we're not going to run our lives by white supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> sort of dictate how yeah. uh, how they how they run yeah. it. Anyway, yeah, go on. Well, I went to jump on the phone and the phone was ringing. I think it was my ex girlfriend and she'd picked up and then I felt like two on that side and one on that side. They just stabbed me. I turned that way, them two ran into the same spot, so they fell over each other. And when I turned the other way, no one was there. I ran straight to the um, front and put my back to the wall because I didn't know who the other person was. Um, two of them have come up like, ah, like that with their blades, and I'm like just standing there. And once, once they got a bit too close, I just sort of charged at one of them and hit him. But as I did that, this one's got me a couple more times. They ended up getting me nine times altogether. What type of blades are these? So this, these were actually... I cut off the top of the fence, okay. which, which oh, actually shit. the jail did that. Like, so I don't know oh, it's like razor them. wire sort of nah, thing? No, these are like um, wide spikes that go into a point, metal. Off the right. top of a metal fence. Yeah. So how did like, they, how did they like cut? That wide and like a proper spear. Like, yeah. it's like when you see someone oh, who's climbed a fence and they've fallen on them. You see yeah, those stories? Like, yeah, yeah. Like the tops like that, yeah. How'd they get them? So I don't know because the screws cut them off. Like Yeah. Yeah. So they've, fucking hell. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so that happened. Um, then there's the squad and all that ran over with the gas. I was at the back of the back to the front of the yard. I seen their feet coming in, so I re jumped up and like tried to throw a kick, but they jumped back. I've gone back down to get under the gas, but like I kept my eyes forward. The um, squad come in, they're like, "Stay there, stay there," and I was like, "No fucking way! I'm not getting dragged out of here because I didn't want to get put in a wheelchair or have the clinic like drag me out on show in front of everyone." So mm. I just jumped straight up. Walked out and I remember just standing there like staring into the yard. Just thinking, fuck, I'll kill you cunts, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, but, yeah. hey, well, Mate, this is, this as is you do, it's, it's, yeah, like, it's fuck, life man. and death like, yeah. at this point. Now, someone yelled out and I was like, nah, no effect, you weak dogs. But I didn't know, like I couldn't see myself, but I was just covered like just red from head to toe. Fuck. They punctured me lung, but <sighs> nothing else really. 
I remember just thinking about my spine when it was going on, like trying to get my spine away from them because I thought, fuck, if I get hit in the spine, yeah. I'd be in a wheelchair, you know? So, um, yeah, I walked to the clinic, got to the clinic. They, once the ambulance came, they um, put me in the thing and they, they've given me catamine. So this, this sent me out of it and made me um, hallucinate, like, yeah, never, like never before. So... What did you see when you hallucinate? Because i got a follow-up so, question oh, to that. This is weird. Uh, it wasn't like I seen stuff. It's like... I knew where I was, like physically, but I was, by the time everything kicked in, I was getting all these thoughts that were coming so fast. So like, they were clear, but every like, fuck, 10 times a second, they would change. So I couldn't hold a thought. But then I still had this overthought that I was thinking about all this, thinking, fuck, I can't hold a thought, you know? That's (laughs) horrifying. Am I fucking dead? Like, am I going through a wire? That's what it felt like. I was going through a wire, like... like through like a circuit board like yeah like wow. that, that's what it felt like and i thought oh shit i'm dead and because i believe in buddhism i'm like they're trying to find a uh, a new life for like me a reincarnation. And I'm gonna come out yeah, yeah i'm gonna wow. see a light and i'm gonna be reborn that's what i wow. thought was about to happen yeah because because ketamine is like like a like a like a trip right yeah like that's yeah. i've hallucin- had ketamine before but obviously not the right amount D- different circles <laughs> <laughs> Different situation. Yeah. <laughs> so my wife, when she had um, Addie, our son, uh, during the C-section, they didn't like numb her up enough or oh, high yeah. enough. So they pumped two lots of ketamine into her oh, yeah. and she thought she was on this like meadow. She said she was on a yellow meadow. Oh, wow. And then like the anaesthetist was like, hey, keep breathing because she stopped breathing. Oh, yeah. Like you have to remember to breathe. Yeah. She was be- super chill. She was <laughs> fucked. Like she was fully <laughs> fucked. But yeah, I was just interested to see if you, because I know someone else who um, had ketamine for a pain thing in hospital had seen like a yellow something. So I was mm. wondering if there's anything yellow. Oh in yeah, that. yeah anyway, no, I don't remember anything yellow. I just remember thinking I was in wires. Like, are they using it in treatment for people with trauma and stuff? Like experimental PTSD. Me that, yeah. yeah, yeah, people like soldiers with PTSD and stuff. They're yeah. using like ketamine yeah. because it did. It well. made me think like I went to another dimension too, mm. and it just made me think the world was so like amazing and so many dimensions. And That's hectic. Like, you know what I mean? Like I just seen mm. the world differently. Once like I you're accessing a new part of your brain. Or yeah, it's like I never had that. And then it just came and, and sort of art came into it very quickly after that. Really? Yeah, so I, I'd gone back and I, I'd been drawing because before I went to Goulburn, I was locked in for three months with, with no amenities. So I started drawing again. Um, I went back to Silverwater for court and they took all, all my pencils and stuff. So when I got to the wing, my um, friend was painting a mural on the officer's thing. And I asked him for some paint because I had heaps of like ice and stuff like that. <laughs> so I knew I'd be up and asked him for some paint. So he's giving me some paint. I went into the cell. That night I remember pulling it out and I, I got green out because green's my favourite colour. And I didn't know how to paint either. So I figured I'd just paint like him and do dots, like with the back of the brush. Yeah. So I got the um, green out and I was doing a Viking and I remember just doing the like first dot, you know, like just the colour. I don't know if it's because it's my favourite colour, but it was just like, it just sucked me in, you know. Like I'd been drawing for months and there was no colour lo- like that. Just with pencils and stuff, like yeah, when you were drawing? Yeah. yeah, but then like the paint, like I hated painting at school. Like I couldn't stand it because I couldn't control it and you mm. know what I mean? Like I'm trying to paint something and then you look at like someone that can paint a portrait, so you just give up straight away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so then yeah, I was yeah. like, that was fucked at school, but... Yeah, then, then it was just like, it just sucked me in. And I, I just, like, I never stopped painting since then. Like, I just fell in love with it. And it, it gradually became like, I just had this feeling like, I have to do this, you know? Like, this is this is part of me. Like, why haven't I been doing this, you know? That's sick. And I just kept painting, you know? And people probably thought I was losing my mind, you know? But yeah, I painted for two years straight. Half of it was probably shit. I got, um, I actually got the education lady who used to get her to print off little pictures i'd ask her like oh, i'd just find some famous artists and print their pictures off and that's how i'd learn I'd and you just at, draw the pictures yeah, yeah and i'd wow. try and paint that picture and or i'd change it a little bit you know I'd like try and make it my own yeah. was there one piece that really spoke to you yeah. through that yeah so there was one by adam cullen and okay. it's um it's called australian saints 2 or something it's like an orange one and it's a head but so that used to hang on my wall but now i um, a few months ago, it was actually in an exhibition in Sydney and I bought it. So it's now in my house. You've oh, got nice. it. Yeah. yeah, it hangs on my wall at home. Fuck yeah, man, that's a great yeah. story. Uh, Australian Saints? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so what? It's on my wall at home, yeah. Why did that speak to you? That's a similar. That's a, it's I similar. just loved it because it was, it was 
messy, you know. Because like I'm fascinated by artists, how yeah. they see things that I don't yeah. see in well, art. When I first started painting, I hated messy stuff. Yep. I tried to do like portrait stuff mm. and I thought that that was stupid and childish. And, mm. and the more I learned about art, I realized that that was a lot harder to do. And and most artists strive to do that, you know, like Picasso and all that. They, were t they used to say like he spent like five years learning how to paint like Rembrandt, but he spent a lifetime trying to unlearn to paint like a kid. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Because I'm with the kids painting, it's totally free, you know. Yeah. They don't have the... Um, do you know what I mean? Like if you, yeah, that that you've been taught, or you have to do the five fingers, or that they just see, they just do what they do with their eyes. You know. I think it's the same with any sort of form of art form, whether it's acting yeah. or or comedy or singing. Like yeah. if you have someone who you really think is like the one you want to be, you will always sort of have a part of them in yeah. your art form. Yeah. Like you know, if it's comedy and you really like Jim Jeffries or whatever, like like I really did yeah. when I was growing up or coming into the uh, into that sort of. Um, like I don't really call comedy an art, but you know yeah. what I mean. It's an art. Um, it's yeah. yeah, but it's it's sort of you become that person or your own variant yeah. of that, yeah. which I think is quite cool. Yeah. yeah, and it's but it's dangerous too because if you become too much like that person, yeah. then all of a sudden it's a parody yeah. or it's a you're, it's like you know you're sort of showing your version of them. Yeah. But what's it called when it's a it's a singing sort of thing? It's like a a fucking cover, cover band. Yeah. You're like yeah. almost like a oh, cover yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah, you know, know what I mean? mean? You like a shitter version of them. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, literally. But you just yeah. you don't want to do that. But yeah. you have your own yeah. sort of well, respect. Well, I, I had for a it. few artists, and what I did was I thought if I can, like a, I'm really into psychology things and that. Mm. So I, I feel like when people see things that they've seen before, that you know they they're familiar with it, so there's an automatic comfort to it. So I thought if I can paint have a style that's the combination of a lot of famous artists together into one, that when people see it, they're automatically comfortable with it and they automatically like it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does that come into your, your yeah, beliefs yeah. in Buddhism? Yeah. So like that, like you've almost already you've seen this in some part of your life or a previous life? Yeah, or it's easier to connect connect to them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And I, I think that that has something to do with, um, like we go back to ketamine, People talk about DMT, yeah, things like that. I haven't tried that, but yeah. No, I'm too scared of that shit. All that <laughs> stuff. Anything where you've – Mushrooms. Where you, yeah, anything where you trip, yeah. that scares yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Away from like – that loss of control. When you that people have been trapped. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think you start thinking that, you're, oh, am I going to be the one? Yeah. <laughs> Is it going to be me? Yeah. I always heard this story about a dude in Newcastle who was – he was stuck in a LSD trip Yeah. or, or something Is like that. Is that Peter Hall, the serial pest? Well, I'm there's not, not going to go out and say, well, I don't, well, not no, like, there's a rumor. I highly think, I highly doubt we're going to get sued by Peter, Peter Hall. Hall. I don't think Peter Hall's going to, I don't know if he has the cash to, <laughs> to front up a legal campaign, but people who have been in, stuck in a trip or there was one guy who was taking heaps of LSD and he had a, a head knock or something. And that sort of dislodged something in his brain. Yeah. And then it, it had this big release of LSD that had been kept in, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah. about, but you know what yeah. I mean? Like that trip, that scares me. Yeah. Like I get drugs like Coke and I get drugs like ice and stuff where it's this fucking real big rush. But that, 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 that type of drug that takes you on a journey, that's like a whole different you're commitment. Not in control, yeah. That's a yeah. different commitment. Because yeah. you're not in like control of those in things. another world and your body's still here mm. doing stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I get yeah. that people like it because people are adventurous and some people want to go on holidays to, to, to London and they, or they want to go to Korea or whatever. Yeah. Or they want to go and visit these places. But other people want to go to... Some sort the of next dimension. The next yeah. dimension. <laughs> like some people want to go to Cambodia and yeah, into yeah. the jungle and stuff. They want to astral travel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's not me. Take yeah. me to fucking yeah. the Buckingham the Palace plane. to stand out the front. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to fly Singapore Airlines yeah. Airlines fucking business class. That's it, about it. It does seem not like a common theme, but I do hear like people that do go on those kind of journeys, like whether it's ketamine or, or ayahuasca or whatever. And <laughs> it changes one, yeah. it changes their worldview. And they do yeah. come like I've got like Close it mates definitely that have, did to me, yeah. Yeah, for sure, big yeah. time. And like close mates that have gone and mm. done ayahuasca in South America and come back and gone on a completely different career yeah. path where they're, you know, working with foster kids and like yeah. it just changes everything. Yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty wild what it what yeah. it seemed to do there, to you. I don't know if that was all of it. There's but, another yeah. bloke, he's a comedian. Um Gabe, can you Google this? Comedian sc screaming comedian. Can you remember his name? Screaming comedian. They, Rogan talks about him all the time. No. Um he used to be a preacher. Um, oh, um, Sam? Sam, yeah, Kinison. Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison. Now, apparently Sam Kinison either – something happened. He was either hit by a car 
or he had a head knock. Roseanne Barr had a head knock. Roseanne Barr had a head oh, yeah. knock and Sam Kinison got hit by a car. Yeah. So I'm, com- I'm conflating the two. But they then became Heaps amazingly funny. funny. Yeah. Like something happened from that. I need a head knock. Yeah. That concussion. <laughs> yeah. Like I always thought. I imagine need a head, if, that's all I need. Imagine if you had that head knock that really, yeah. for you, it might have been the ketamine journey or the a massive release of adrenaline from being stabbed. Yeah. That changed you yeah. in, for whatever reason and in whatever way to change your the way you thought about art and felt about art and yeah. brought it into sort of the forefront yeah. of your brain. Yeah. Even the, the world, like the way it treated people and spoke to people and thought That's about weird, people. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like it just but had this that, moment. I just wanted to dominate everything. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I was just on a war path with, with myself probably, but anyone that would, would be my opposition, like, yeah, let's go. But I feel like yeah. a lot of dudes that are in that sort of bad dude mentality, yeah. they do have this ability for introspection. Yeah. And they do have this sort of artistic mentality if yeah. they can find it and yeah. lean into that rather than into the sort of gangster life. Yeah. I remember that and I remember starting the hunt and I thought, geez, like I, I've been like a gangster and, and carrying on and running in on people and, and bashing everyone and stabbing people and all of a sudden I've, I've changed and now I'm putting, I'm about to put this art on my Facebook the first mm. time. I'm, I was so nervous about it. It took me like two weeks to put it on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I thought, oh my God, everyone's going to fucking laugh at this. Mm. I haven't even sold a painting. I'm putting this up and telling everyone I'm going to be an artist, you know. Mm. And then after a couple of weeks, I thought, fuck it, you know, I'm dedicated. Like, this is who I am now. And, like, it, it was hard to relate to the old me. And I'm thinking, why Why am I so like that? You know, why do... But, yeah, I think maybe I still carried a little bit of that. But I posted it and then some people, like, liked it and that. And I just got better and better. And then people were like, whoa, holy fuck, what the fuck's going on with Nathan, you know? Well, it almost comes back to what you said about being at school and not having control yeah. over painting and yeah. art. Like you don't have any control when you put something out into the ether, yeah. like like uh, like a painting yeah. or like a joke or like a video that yeah. that I would do when I first started. You have no control of how people yeah. react. Some people are going to say Nathan's shit at art. Some people are going to yeah. say Isaac's not funny. Whatever. Yeah. Like you have no control over that. So it's fucking scary. Yeah. Like you, you can't be a tough guy with that type of stuff. Like yeah. it's just you could open. probably still bash him though if they didn't. Yeah. Like <laughs> you could find yeah. him and bash yeah, him. Yeah, there's still an option yeah. for you. You can still find him in bad. Folks like me and him just have to just cop it, but you can yeah, probably still fuck him up. <laughs> I just I get death threats and go, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually do something about yeah. it. <laughs> can I ask, um, what is it like to get stabbed? I don't, I, I don't know. Like I thought it'd be a lot different. It, it's scary, of course, because you, you don't you don't know. You know, like is this about to end? Are they about to hit me? Like somewhere that where it's going to fucking end me? Especially when there's free people there and free free blades and you don't know who one of them is mm. and there's a yard full of people wearing green you know what i mean yeah like, yeah. yeah it's hard to spot them yeah <laughs> yeah it is your yeah. favorite color well, a lot too, of people yeah. in jail hate green they're like oh, i never wear green i wore green in jail but then they wear blue yep that's what the, the guards wear, wear yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i was like fuck, I, I like green before i come to jail no one's taking that from me like yeah yeah mm, for sure yeah like thank you let's wear green every day <laughs> <laughs> but did it did it have a feeling did it have a feeling like, did you feel like pain straight away? Nah, I didn't feel any pain. Nothing, just like, yeah, it was just, it was just so, it was like I was in a dream. Like I went into like, you know, so much adrenaline. I was just hot, hot on high alert. Like yeah. just, everything was just like there, like you know what I mean? Like in front of, of me or? and I was back here just like making sure. Yeah. I think that's that sort of that evolutionary trait where, the tunnel vision comes from the adrenaline spike and you just see exactly what you need to yeah. see right yeah. in front of you and yeah. nothing else prolifically yeah. ma- matters. Yeah. It's just what is right there. Yeah. Like I know this is not the same, but <laughs> I gave blood recently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, similar. And I, and I, and I fainted <laughs> and I fainted because I had to give you got a stab like with like a doing. tiny little stab, but I had to give like 13 vials cause I was doing tests for oh, a video. Yeah. Um, about my sort of blood test. So I had to give 13 vials, which apparently is a lot. And I got to like vial eight and I just went. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering, is that what it's like to be stabbed? You just, everything starts to just dis- disappear and eventually yeah, you just start. I revenge, but I think because it was all in my back. Man. I couldn't actually see it. Right, that probably so, helped. Yeah. I think if I seen a hole in me, I'd be mm. like 
freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can tell you, mate. When you yeah. see a tiny little hole in you, yeah. you start springing yeah, a leak. It's all like, over. Yeah, well, I hate needles too. I'm like, always put my head like that and just my arm out. I tried to be a tough cunt and look yeah. at it and look what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> We'd do well in jail. Yeah. Oh, I'd be so bad in jail, mate. I'd be so, I'd be like, you know, in the Shawshank Redemption where they're going fishing? Yeah. In the start, they're like, fish, like, is that Shawshank? Like, fishy? Is that they're fishing for the, the dude to sort of break down on the first night in jail in Shawshank? I'm sure that's Shawshank. Oh, with the <laughs> strings? <laughs> no, like, oh. what's... Shawshank what, fishing? Doesn't Shawshank. Doesn't ring any bells for me. No, you know, the first... The, what's the first... Look, Google, first night prison Shawshank. I'm sure it's something. Or it's, it's something. Fishing. <laughs> or maybe it's another movie. Sounds like it. Anyway. Um... They get a guy to break down. What do you got? Something? Break down? What do you mean break down? Like, like, like cry and oh yeah. like really break down. They're trying to break a dude. Oh, fresh, and they're calling him fresh fish or something. Oh, yeah. Or fresh. I know that. Oh, you mean like when they're calling them fish? Yeah. I thought you meant like actual Because there's something else in jail fishing. too with fishing. Like, like with notes and stuff? Yeah, with the strings. No, and, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Like they're calling. There's no fresh. What do you mean fresh? Like did you actually think I meant fish? Well, yeah, you I, said, well, I, they're out there. They're Shawshank and they're fishing. And I'm like. I don't no, see any there's fish no fish in jail. I've never been to jail, but mm. there's no fish in jail. Can no. we can yeah? <laughs> can we get confirmation? It on used that? to be on Friday night fish. There you <laughs> go. They change, yeah, they change the menu. Yeah. Like the winner menu. <laughs> when the winner menu. Yeah. They go seasonal to, seasonal yeah. options. They go yeah. to stew. Tuna salad on a Wednesday. Tuna. Oh fuck that. Yeah. How's it been? Like you've obviously like lived two pretty distinctly different lives. Yeah. It seems. How's it been for you going into the art world? Because I, I know, like for me, and I don't know a lot of people, have you found this fishing thing? Yeah, do you want to play the fishing thing? <laughs> do we thing? have to? We've got to finish this off. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> we, <laughs> is there people trying to break people in jail, though? Do you find people is it doing that? Yeah, is it like the movies? Look, yeah, if, if I'm in a wing and anyone gets bullied, like, yeah, I, I've bashed heaps of people for bullying people, but it does happen. Mm. A lot of times in the cell, one of the cellmates will, like, bully the other one, mm. and then he'll come out and... Do you know what I mean? He'll, he'll be friends with the boys or something, the one that's bullying him, so no one finds out because he won't want to say nothing to mm. anyone. And yeah, sometimes you find out. I found out about this one in Park Lee. That, so there was a, a kid in there who had real bad gut problems and they used to give him heaps of custards and, and these other um, these drinks. Mm. They're like protein drinks. So he said he was taking them off him, but this guy was like, like 50 kilos, like skinny as he had real bad gut. He couldn't eat. So that's what they'll give like him. Like sausage and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So this cunt was taking it off him. And they're right. eating his dinner and just sitting there eating it in front of him. Yeah. So he's in with him for like two or three weeks and we found out. So I questioned him. And I'm like, yeah, this was weird because I was like, he goes, um, I said, oh, bro, you've um been picking on him. All right. He denied it, but I knew it anyway. I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. So I told um, what's his name? Shit, I forget his name, but I said, you go in there. I'll go on this side, I'll talk to him, and you just kick him in the fucking face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, how, like a head kick, or we yeah, talk, like he's sitting head down, kick, or like what? A head kick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone in and. It wasn't like, fucking Spaniard, was it? Yeah. He can throw some fucking head kicks, yeah. that cunt. <laughs> so he's, um, he's come in. Oh, Townie, Townie. So Townie's done this. So he's come in. Um, I was talking to him, I said, oi, bra, rah, rah. The, the guy doing the butte was there. So he's looking this way anyway. And I've looked up at Townie because I told him, we can't go back out into the yard after this mm. because everybody knows. And if we walk back out and this cunt's not God, we're not waiting until tomorrow. Like cunts will be like, what the fuck, you know? So <laughs> he's like, he's gone, he's looked at me. Townie's just gone bang, <laughs> and kicked him straight in the face. <laughs> he's gone flying back. His head's hit the fucking thing. Townie stomped him on the face and then... He ended up breaking his jaw. Tanny sounds like a bloke you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. So then I was just like, all right, he's going to jump up. And I said, no, stay there because of the camera. As soon as he walks out, the camera's going to see him. I've walked out with Tanny. I've got everyone to walk in and out. So the screws couldn't see who right. it was. Yeah. And then after he, he, he bailed, broken jaw. See you later. Fuck. Ironically, yeah. you broke his jaw. He probably had to eat yeah. custard and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For a straw, he yeah. probably had he to. Been, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I went and seen that other kid. I'm like, bro, anything like that happens, you know, you got to tell tell someone in the pod that's like up there, you know? Yeah. Because normal people won't won't cop that. Was this just a young kid. bloke? Yeah, just a young kid that, you know, and he had a lot of health problems. And, and yeah. he was real scared, like, yeah, he didn't he want to rap. Scared, yeah, and he thought, oh, this guy's, this guy's their mate, you know? Yeah. Because he talks to us, so, you know, he's probably in the cell saying, oh, if you say anything, rah, 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 you know? I get, I get where he's coming from, though. You don't want to, like... Yeah, he would have been horrified. Like, he would have yeah. been scared, like, oh, I can't say anything, I can't yeah. defend myself. Yeah. Like, so, if you're, if you're going into jail, 
and you're like a smaller person, maybe you don't feel like you can compete against the big yeah. guys. Like, is there anything you can do or you just got to keep to yourself? Like, is that the main way to do it or yeah, no? Yeah, look, you can keep to yourself, you know, and, and obviously don't talk to the screws. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like number one, yeah. right? But if something happens, like, you know, things shouldn't, you shouldn't be getting bullied or, or stuff like that, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong. Mm. So if you don't do anything wrong, that, that shouldn't happen. But sometimes it does happen, you know, but usually the, whoever's running the pod, like, that's in green, you know, won't, won't put up with that shit, you know. There's a lot of people that won't put up with that shit. Yeah. 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 Is so it just violence wins? Like, is it just like if the most violent people sort of pretty much? Run the yeah, show? Yeah. 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 So if you, if you, if you're just gonna run blade through people and shit, people aren't gonna fuck with you. Yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I can imagine that. That's the fear, and is that yeah. why you think? Why? But, why did the white? So it was all about you going into their part of the yard with the white yeah, supremacists. Yeah. Oh no, too. we always had dramas. Like I'd, I'd put it on all of them before, like at different occasions. But yeah, is like, that because of their beliefs? Or is um, it just because you just didn't like them personally, or was it no, because they of just, their we just didn't like each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I always find that funny that that white dudes seem to have to like is that is that is it, well is this true that white dudes have to go that down that white supremacy route to have protection inside? Oh no no no, it's not like that now. It, it's mostly like the the Lebanese would run everything now, you know, okay. the Islanders and yeah, and the poor white boys, the, the poor white boys, the, the, like, and that, yeah. Yeah, the Curries, the brothers, and that, yeah. Yeah. Is that just because white blokes are just like fucking? They just don't stick together, really. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they, they don't stick together. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Like the Lebanese, a lot everyone's of them are all about the drugs and that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, white dudes just don't seem to be that scary. Yeah. <laughs> like the Lebanese blokes, they're big, and, and the Kuri fellas, they're big and scary. And then there's just white boys, and yeah. they're just like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they all end up joining the fuck, or they used to join the white supremacist yeah. people. It's the only way they feel safe. Yeah, I, I think guess. that's more in America. Like we white Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that seems scary, the jails in America. Yeah. Like that's, you watch like San Quentin and all that type of stuff where it's all just full, like the most terrifying gangs where everyone's trying to kill everyone and the bloods and the crips. You're you're gonna get life. These cunts are on camera, just bang. They don't care. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. You just wanna join, get life. Like, oh, I swear I'm gonna live here forever. Are you serious? (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) So let's, if we can, go back to your childhood and and your younger years. You said before you're nearly 40 now, or you are 40. Yeah, I've um, turned 40 in July. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what what was happening in the younger years that led to that sort of gang lifestyle? I don't know. I, I think so. It's just the area I grew up in. So you just see all the gangsters with their gold chains and the um, women and the, the cars and, you know, they've got all the respect. That's who everyone's talking about. That's everyone knows their names. Mm. And my dad, my dad was a big guy, pretty tough guy, like in the football side of things. Like, so everyone respected him too. Um, did he play? Did he play football? Yeah, or? yeah, he he still plays now. I think. Does yeah. he? He's like, yeah. Well, he, he played for Australia in the front row. For the seniors, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, he was still playing A grade at fifty two. I think he stopped. What? Jesus. Yeah. I always <laughs> looked at those row, dudes yeah. and I was like, how do you do yeah. it? I'm thirty one. Twenty five year olds. Like, oh, yeah. I'm about to pull the pin. I'm thirty one. Fifty two. Yeah. That's. I retired yeah. at twenty five. Yeah, I was, was like, like, I can't he do was this the anymore. Guy on the field for twenty years. That's crazy. <laughs> what a fucking yeah. tough gun. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know how people do that. Yeah, but that so he left and that's that that's what I aspired to, you know. My yeah. dad was my hero. I wanted to be the tough guy, like I wanted to be tougher than everyone. So when I was a kid I knew I was going to jail. Because yeah. I thought that's where all the toughest people are. Yeah. You know I mean so I have to go there. Yeah. It's a different mindset, hey. Yeah. Like you either got it or you don't. Yeah. With that. Like, like I was one hundred percent sure, you know, so I just had to do what I had to do. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, like, toughness. Yeah. Like, that is a mindset. Yeah, yeah. Like, either you are a tough person or you're not. Like, yeah. I've always known that when it comes to, like, violence and that, like, I'm just not. I just don't have it Yeah. for whatever reason. But some people just, they thrive in it and yeah. they really, really enjoy it. It's yeah. an environmental thing, I think. Like, where, like, the area like I did, but you, you get, like, a power trip, you know? Yeah, you, sure. You get, like, a, a rush of power, like, you know, when you, when you beat someone up or, or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're dominating that yeah. alpha male comes out yeah but where did that yeah. come from for you i know you said I think you it just comes from my dad really yeah. like yeah was, was he like a, a violent person or just a tough person just tough like and it, he, he was always fighting he boxed too okay yeah, yeah. i guess yeah. when it comes to like and that's the same with like a lot of mma guys that i know yeah once you take the fear of fighting out of someone like they're not scared of it yeah like that's an animal that's yeah. a scary fucking well, person that's what happened yeah i had so many fights and, and, and as a kid, 15, I think, when, when I started going out with the um, Singwa, like the gangs and that, I'd be, I was like the bait. 
because mm. I was a little Aussie and I was little, but I could fight because I'd been boxing since I was eight. Yeah. So I'd be the one that would walk out and have to start on like three 25 year olds like say hey boys what are you doing give me your wallets you know what i mean <laughs> they'd laugh at me i'd drop two of them and, and all the boys would come <laughs> how out, old yeah, were you like 15 fuck man yeah so when i realized i could like drop adults as a kid <laughs> i was just like fuck it, it got rid of that <laughs> yeah, yeah of course yeah. it does yeah well you'd have no fear but i had like so the thing was i grew up so small that i had small man syndrome but mm -hmm. then i hit the weights and i got tall and i was big and then i still had small man syndrome yeah so that's just, dangerous yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i was big and i had a massive attitude you know yeah, yeah. What, yeah, yeah. what sort of gangs were you running around with as a young bloke oh sing was so they're a tri triad gang chinese triad gang wow oh you were running around with the chinese yeah did yeah. that ever help with like your art no nah, like connections uh, oh no nah. i lost now. some connections years ago yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah just when i was younger and, and my best mate was philly he was he's a tongan bloke yeah yeah yeah, but he was he was in it too, but it was like ninety nine percent Chinese. So wow. how, how does one as an as a young Aussie I get think involved just with the, the tribe? The way we were violent and we mm. were, you know we'd chop people with machetes and, and all that shit. So they were like they use us as protection pretty mm. much, mm. yeah, or to fight their fights. Yeah, yeah. Wow. but they'd always give us money. Like any time we wanted money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what what happens when you like not the saying that you ever did this, but when you chop someone like what? How yeah. does that how does that happen like it's just oh it's just like a, another gang or you know you see someone in your area or yeah yeah what sort of what sort of work would you do on like for, for them like protection work like what sort of oh, like so what, I just what would a day look like for you back then oh so i'd sleep in the day i'd wake up like um four or five i'd go to the city or go to auburn and meet philly and and go to the city we would pretty much just protect the area sometimes we get into like we see 14k or something sometimes there'd be planned fights where it'd be like 100 of us and 100 of them or you know i've been there when there's been like three four hundred people that's there. for like gangs in new york shit. yeah like so when they this is like the late late 90s wow. um yeah, okay. year 2000 99 98 in sydney when all the asians like there was asians everywhere asian gangs everywhere yeah, yeah. and there was so like they would rock up so many yeah and we, wow. we used to have bags and machetes like just disposable <laughs> ones and we just Fuck. bring them with us and yeah but they, they were very that's crazy the good thing is with them they they stick to their words so, so they'll actually meet up like the two bosses or dalo they they call themselves they'll meet up and be like all right we're gonna have a fight here they'll say weapons or no weapons you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and then if they say no weapons they won't bring weapons wow yeah. that is full say, gangs yeah, in new york plenty of honor. Yeah. So a bit like, of honor yeah, yeah. yeah have you seen that movie bluey i haven't they're man. all about not yeah yeah because otherwise you lose face you know you pretty much you yeah shit, yeah it's this like disrespect even yeah. though you're going there to fl fl fuck each other up yeah <laughs> that's nuts so yeah. I, I haven't seen gangs in new york for a very long time but and, f and forgive me if i'm wrong but they there's like a big battle right in that yeah. movie yeah is that right oh, yeah and it's all like 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 knives, machetes, and they all just come together. Like yeah. I don't I don't think there's any guns probably or anything. Probably not as much blood as that, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like like you know you might get into a fight. There might be thirty or forty, but then one or two people will get stabbed. You know, one will get stabbed bad. It'll be on the news or yeah. And then so if someone gets stabbed, does it sort of like calm down then, or it doesn't yeah, pretty matter? Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, a, a lot of the time when you're rocking up with that many people, the police have already know you're there. Yeah, fair so, enough. Yeah. So a lot of the time, very quickly, like within minutes, police will come, you know, and yeah. someone, they always say unhigh, and that means police, and everyone would run. Well, right. Yeah, as soon as you hear unhigh, you run. And so yeah. so you get stabbed, or someone gets stabbed, Yeah. there's no like, hey, that bloke from that gang, he did that. Like, there's none of that. Oh, no, there, there sort of is, but it's more like your whole crew, you represent your whole crew. So if you if you stab someone from another crew, they're like, this branch stabbed me. Yeah, so like it's not like a person. Branch. Yeah. Like like they won't come after you, but they would want to come after you, obviously, because you did it, but they come after your whole branch as well. Yeah, anyway, but like the police branch. wouldn't, like they wouldn't tell the police that oh, you no, had no done way. that. No. no way, yeah. That's like the worst thing you yeah, could do. Yeah, Fuck. So that seems like so like different to what, you would do if you're not in like that yeah. world right yeah. like you would like you want to get that person to go to jail yeah and it's hard now because i think so differently when i see people you know i know people judge people like that and i think oh like you just don't know you know like when you're raised like, raised like that and it's it you're in that world like you you adapt to that world and you become part of that world you know mm. so, and to you that becomes normal so i didn't think back then that i was that bad i thought you know i'm i'm, I'm in this world yeah and I'm just doing my thing. It's just what you do. Yeah, it's just what you do. What? Yeah. What? Uh. What other? Like, was it just enforcer work? Were you just like? Oh no! Like sometimes we collect money. We did a lot of fraud. 
Like um, what, what kind of fraud? fraud? So like um, they put ca- uh, checks in banks, and we don't. We just get them the accounts. And then it'd come from like insurance companies and look which it just from all different companies. We'd go in, pull it out, just cash and checks, like yeah. And then oh, we did cash checks after that. Yeah, wow. I got done for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. What did you get done for in in the end? Um, oh, with my jail. Yeah. So oh, grievous bodily harm. So the yeah. first one was at a party. I got um, grievous bodily harm, actual bodily harm, actual bodily harm, and a common assault. And then I got out for six weeks and I, I come back in. I had two GBHs, four or five actual bodily harms and two, there was like eight people I hit there. Fuck. Yeah. So you hit you hit them, there was like no yeah. weapons? It was No, well, it, it, it was sort of like they went to jump us, but then they lost and told the police. Oh. Yeah. Because they surrounded my mate and I walked in and they were around him in the room. Was this so, gang related? Nah, this was just on the central coast. So I'd gotten of out, course. I'd only been out for a few weeks and they were like, oh, there's a party up the road. So we're like, oh yeah, let's go. We didn't know whose it was. We we definitely didn't know whose it was. Yet. <laughs> but I remember we walked in. I was on the veranda and I see my mate inside, and I'm like, oh shit, because they they were having an argument. So I've walked in, I've grabbed him. I said, let's go, bro. I'm on parole. And he's like, oh no no no. And this guy in front, he goes, oh if you don't if you don't shut the fuck up or something, I'll knock both years out. Mm. And then I just went bang and just kicked him straight in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> He fell on the thing. You just don't know who you're talking to yeah. when you say shit like that That's to people. Think, you yeah. never know. You never know. Because I'm, I'll just, my dad always said to me, hit first. So as soon as someone even says something, I just hit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah I wouldn't talk back or, or, you know, go nose to nose or do any of that. That's you know who shit. Jake Shields is, don't you? Yeah. Have you seen that video of Jake Shields knocking that dude out? No. Nah. He's like someone gets in his face, and Jake Shields is MMA MMA yeah. fighter, or is he kickboxer? No, MMA fighter. MMA yeah, he fighter. Was in the UFC, yeah. yeah, and he, um, some dude sort of gets in his face, yeah. and Jake Shields, who fucks people up for a living, yeah. like that's his job. <laughs> that's like someone's coming up to you and going, "Hey, I'll fucking put scaffold up quicker than you." And I go, <laughs> "Wrong, <Probably>. my friend." <laughs> <laughs> like, this dude, like he goes up to Jake Shields, gets in his face, or yeah. whatever happens, and Shields just like I don't yeah. know if he hits him with a like a like a like just whatever combo he hits him with, I can't quite remember. Yeah, but just lays automatic. him out. Yeah, it becomes automatic. Just yeah, it's yeah. just like one two cross. Yeah, boom, and he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> like he's gone. And you've you've Can actually you done that? a bit of combat sports, eh? Yeah, yeah. MMA, kickboxing. You have to kickboxing, boxing. Yeah. Fuck. How do you how how do you go in the old like MMA and the kickboxing and stuff? I saw like the only fight I've ever lost was in MMA. Really? Okay. Yeah, but I took it on ten days notice, and I hadn't done jujitsu before. Yeah. So that'll <laughs> do it. Choked got out, choked yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'll just I dropped him yet. twice in the first like 10 seconds or something. What? what, what the, t- and the ref actually trained with him and he was telling him what to do. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So what promo- came, was they, this like a local promotion? Or? Kiyoshi, it was at Morissette. Okay. Yeah. And then he actually came back and told me, oh, do you want to come train at the gym? I'll get your fights and that. Because okay. he liked the way I fight. And, like, I, I'm really good with stand up. So yeah. I was like, yeah, sweet. But I thought in my head, I'm going to come to your gym and bash this guy every day. <laughs> <laughs> So I went there and I went there for two or three weeks, like all the time. And then I asked him, I said, where is he? You know, he said, oh, he messaged me. And he was actually six and oh, seven and oh after you beat me. And he's, he messaged him and said, oh, he's gonna, just going to stick to jujitsu now. <laughs> he's, he's not fighting anymore. Fair yeah. enough. Because I told him you have to rematch me because that's bullshit. Yeah. Should have yeah, been yeah, stopped yeah. straight away. You know what I mean? Yeah. My dad was there the only time he seen me oh, fight. Oh, feeling, really? Like, fuck, the one time my dad sees me fight. They say that about family. Yeah. Like you get him there for the fight or your kids or yeah. whatever and it just ends terribly yeah. every time. Have you got that feeling? I, I tried to trick I him I too when he was choking it. me because he like I've got there and I was like, yeah, before before I tapped. Oh, really? Yeah. Like I was hoping oh. he'd let go if I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get back up and start yeah. belting him. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But, but how yeah. did you go, like, going from street fighting into, like, co- did you have coaches and stuff when you went into, like, the... Oh, well, I trained with Steve McKinnon. So okay. he's, he's a five-time world champion kickboxer heavyweight. Yeah. yeah. And how did you go from just fighting on the streets and, and gangs and stuff into, like, training properly and stuff? Did you enjoy oh, it? Oh, yeah. Loved it, yeah. Because yeah. I, I did a lot of boxing when I was younger. Yeah. And also in jail, a lot of people hold the pads for you. And yeah, sick. Yeah. So, yeah, I just learned the kicks and knees and... I already did a few knees and elbows and that because they were my favourite. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Far out. That's wild. I'm trying to find yeah. that video. I can't fucking find it. Is like fighting still something you're into? Like it's still a part of your life? Like combat like I, sports I like and all? It, it's hard. But yeah. yeah, I don't want to fight because it, it makes me like, like when I train, I become aggressive. I yeah. become very alpha. Yeah. 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 Opens up like that I get side that yeah. in my head, you know? Yeah. yeah. 
because you think about it a lot. You think about combos and you think about, oh, this guy, if this guy did this and yeah, it makes you like, put you in a different mindset. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It is a different mindset. Yeah. Like you're all and the time. art, like my art's such a happier place. Yeah. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. 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 It is so different. Yeah. 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 It is funny. Do you think like, because I was having a look at, you, your art is like really fun. Yeah. It's like really fun. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty wild to hear like obviously your background and where Joe you've come Schilling. from. Yeah. To do the art that you do, yeah. where do you think it, like the art itself Joe comes Schilling. from? Because it's not like some of it is has got that kind of dark elements to it, yeah. like you sort of pass and stuff. But it's really playful, like the yeah. stuff that you make. It's really fun. Oh, like I love animals it. Like I love being a big kid and yeah, yeah. Like I, I just love being a kid, really. Yeah, yeah. And I like funny things too. Yeah. So if something in my head comes up funny. And that's what I'll do, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Like there's like the koalas, and like yeah. there's just some really like playful, fun things. And then you hear yeah. about the background and the life you've had, and like it's not that fun and playful. Yeah. Like yeah, I did for a bit try and paint for other people, and I, I went through all these styles, and I thought, oh yeah, what what do people like, you know? Because I want to sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like painting heaps of stuff, but yeah, so I was trying to do that. But then I was just like, I think it was the unicorn, maybe. Oh, yeah. actually, no, I flipped. I had a book in jail, and I used to get so many ideas, and I just write them down. In yeah. this okay, book. and I've still got it at home. And it's probably got shit a thousand ideas in it, and I just flipped it open to one page, and it had the um the playing cards, yeah, the Queen of Heart and King of Heart, yeah. and I did them, and that's as soon as I did them, the gallery contacted me when he seen that from Asia. Wow, got me wow. Into Asia straight away, yeah. And I remember as he contacted me, I'd, I'd already done the unicorn, like the funny unicorn. Mm. I was like, oh yeah, for sale, dodgy unicorn, from a, <laughs> like a crackhead sale, yeah. you know. Like, buy it now, I'm gonna be home, be home later, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, I found that video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Joe Schilling. Oh well, oh, there's Joe a card. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I was close, but not quite. Um, let me just find that. How um, have you found it going into selling art? Going from like. Bashing people for a living and then yeah. jail to like a lot, like selling, you sell art for a living now. Yeah, but well, it, it was hard at first because I, I, I didn't get money. Yeah. And I was like, like any artist. Yeah. yeah. Like a starving like artist. Struggling, but, and everyone's telling me, you know, it could take you five, 10 years to get into a gallery. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to dedicate myself. I'm just going to have to do something because I can't go to jail. I've got a 20 year old daughter. Like, even if I work at fucking McDonald's, I'm doing better than going to jail. 100%. You know? So that was my mindset. I'm just going to, look. I don't care if I'm at the bottom. As long as every day I get up and keep trying, I'll get somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And how long did it take? So you said you, someone bought your first one after three, three weeks. Three months. Oh, three months, sorry. Yeah. And then how long did it take you to get into a gallery? Um, 12 months. Yeah, it's not that long. It's, nah, it's, it's, nah, it's still not, quick, eh? Yeah. yeah. yeah There'd be so a lot of artists yeah. listening to this going, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they'd love to be here at the end of the career. Yeah. Like the way mm. I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's but crazy. they don't have the experience, like the life experience. They yeah. might have the artistic experience. Yeah. Maybe they even they've been involved longer. That's what I thought. If I painted when I was younger, I wouldn't paint like this. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like you wouldn't have that comes. mindset. Yeah. And I painted for months and months my paintings and I was trying to figure out why I paint them. I just kept looking at them and I'm like, holy shit, this, these are me. Like these are all just portraits. You know, all these shit's yeah. just, it's just me inside, you know, the way I act. The way I carry myself, like it's just me. So for them to get yeah. to your position, they might want that, but you got to get stabbed eight times and be, <laughs> off, <laughs> and be off your head on ketamine, ketamine to yeah. get to it. Yeah. Like, are you willing to do that? Yeah. This is this Joe Schilling. It wasn't um, Jake Shields. It was Joe Schilling that I was remembering. And this is just outside a bar. Can you play this, Gabe? I don't know if it'll play an ad first because it's the fucking Daily Mail. Yeah, it will. Bunch of dogs. It was a kid swimming ad. Why would they put a kid swimming on a UFC fight or an MMA fighter punching the shit out of someone? <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was, um, in Fort Lauderdale, uh, knocks out a man, he says, used a racial slur, uh, before, ca uh, before claiming he was acting in self-defense and feared for his life. <laughs> so Schilling just walks, he's, oh, Schilling's, Schilling's behind him, oh, just sort of moved him out of the way. Yeah. And then old mate says something, buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> old mate did look like he feigned a punch there. He got in his face, yeah. and you don't do, like it's. Schilling shouldn't have done that, obviously. But you've seen him like, sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. If you go, As if you, you watch it again, and like what are you? Uh, it's, it's skipped on the coward punch videos. No, it's just the autoplay. Gabe, what are you doing? I don't frequent Daily Mail, mate. And look, now there's another ad. Are we going to do this again? Nah. <laughs> well, it was a good video. Great video. Oh, I thought it was good. So you sold your first painting for eighty bucks. Yeah. To a friend of yours. Yeah. What? 
What does a painting of yours go for now, if I can ask? Oh, that? so the average probably probably ten ten thousand Australian. <laughs> so it's a bit, so bit more than eighty. Yeah. <laughs> just to, just to, and how yeah. do you sell sell a lot of paintings a year? Is it infrequent or? Oh, like in Australia, I studio gallery I'm with, they, they do really well. They probably sell one every couple of weeks for me, like a, a big one, but. My galleries overseas sell a lot more. Okay. Yeah, like Taiwan and Korea especially. Wow. They sell heaps. And America. America I sell a fair bit too, yeah. How, can we ask how many of that is a year sort of thing? Oh, so shit, last year I would have sold uh, 200, 250. Fuck paintings. yeah. yeah. Do the math at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. At Fuck. what, 10K a piece? Like, yeah. Oh, oh, fucking oh. I. Yeah. I remember, I remember my Taiwan exhibition. The average price was around ten grand, yeah. and that sold out like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's Fuck so yeah. awesome. And they just opened another one last night. Yeah, last night. Is wow. this for originals? Like ten grand for an original or just yeah. prints? Yeah, an original. Yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, but that's there's there's like smaller ones and yeah, yeah. Fuck. Do, do they sort of treat you like with musos? Like, do you get smashed on like their um their cut? Oh, so we get 50%. I get 50%. Okay. Yeah. That's normal with every commercial gallery around the world, yeah. like the good galleries. Yeah. That's like the go, is it? Yeah. That's sort of the normal sort yeah. of thing. Okay. Because they, they have the whole sort yeah. of everything in place to sell something, I guess. Yeah. So I, I'm okay with that because when they first started, I was like, all right, well, I want this much for it. So you're going to have to sell it for double that. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Wow. But so I was thinking before we sort of just sort of touched on it. How have you, how have you found going from – the world that you were in and now yeah. like because when i think of the world of art and like art dealers yeah. and that kind of thing it just seems so like sort of i don't get it obviously yeah. a lot of people don't sort of understand art and yeah. art sales and modern art it seems so abstract and yeah. like you're dealing with like you know really fancy clients yeah, and big words wankers <laughs> and yeah yeah big words and, yeah. and have you do you, are you much in the world or do you just kind of do your paintings i just kind of send them and there, you send it to them yeah. and they sell them for you are you like, are you in the art world much so to speak Nah, nah, like I do sometimes go and do um, talk somewhere. Like I, I meet my gallery people. I, I talk to other artists, but yeah, I don't talk to that many. And I do feel a little bit weird at first. I did. I remember I'd like walk in places and they'd be saying all these words and for you know, sure, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys familiar with prison shanking? Yeah. <laughs> Just like you've seen this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, because it seems like I said, like just from where yeah, you come from so in, in the art world. Yeah, the, the weird thing is because my my mindset changed so much yeah. too. Like it was just like I'm just dealing with people, you know, yeah. like nice people now. Yeah, with good energy. So it's like that's nice. Yeah. Does your art yeah. ever sort of delve into that darker energy, or you don't want it to? I don't know. I don't know if if I paint this to like block it out, or mm. you know, because that could. I mean, that could go one way or the other, couldn't it? Yeah. Because it could, like, comment on it and maybe make it easier to talk about for you and sort of develop or, or sort of digest those feelings that you might yeah. have about that past world or it could take you back into it. Yeah. And that's sort of like how you said well, you don't like fighting that yeah. much because it makes you aggressive and all those yeah. type of things. And painting is sort of a way out of that. Maybe you don't want it to, but maybe it could be interesting. Like, yeah. what do you do as an artist? Do you do you lean into that or do you stay away from it? Oh, n no, I just... um. Yeah, fuck, I just got lost then. No. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Sorry. It's one of those long-winded questions where you just yeah. get there, right, mate? <laughs> what, are you, what are you asking me again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is 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 there a fear that if you if you you know lean into the oh, darkness? Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I I don't know because I, I'm very um like I get addicted to things very easily. Mm. You know, so if I'm fighting and I get that energy and I start listening to Tupac and shit. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, but does, but people who are good at things usually are addicted to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Well, that's what I do, yeah. I just go 100% on Tunnel things. vision, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I've never done something for that long too, you know, like with art. How long have you been doing art for now? Um, Six years nearly. Six right. years yeah. and where you are. Yeah. That's crazy. That's a gift. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's just crazy, yeah. I was just like... That's meteoric. That's yeah. awesome. Fucking oath it is. Yeah. Yeah. So so when did you when did you go to prison? What year? Um oh shit, two thousand and four. Okay, and yeah. you got out twelve years later, is that right? Or no, no, no. So it was like um a sixteen year period. I did twelve years. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I did like um two years, nine months. I was out for six weeks, did three years. I was out for like two years in between that, I think. When was the last time you were in prison? Uh, two thousand nineteen. Okay. Yeah. And that was for. Oh, sorry. 2020. Did I get out? Yeah. Three years ago. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And what was that? That was for the. Four years ago. 2019. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. What year is it? 
That yeah, does. 23. That, yeah. fuck, two mixed up, that yeah. fucks you up, doesn't it? Well, we yeah. lost We lost two with COVID. Like, yeah. it's, fucking, yeah. it's hard to know where we're at. Thank fuck you. Or were you in COVID, with prison with COVID? No. That would have been fucked. Yeah. Because yeah. you wouldn't have been able to do anything, right? Yeah, they were all locked down and yeah, they had a lot of riots. I know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the boys kept themselves yeah. busy. I bet they were just for <laughs> yeah. something to do. Did you That's ever? Because they got no visits, so they got no drops. So the boys just yeah, going mad. Yeah, yeah. Far everyone around. going through withdrawals. Yeah. yeah, that'd be fucked. Yeah. So what? What? What were you coming out of jail for at that point in 2020? Um, oh, like an extortion thing. I took this guy's car off him and signed it over to his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a nice thing to do, yeah. really. Well, I, <laughs> found, I found that I don't know if it's true or not. Like it could just not be true. She just might have made it up. <laughs> but <laughs> they broke up and he took all her stuff and. And he hit her and she had an AVO on him or some shit. And I was like, oh, yeah, just bring him to me then. Mm. And then she's like, oh, he's out. The she came later and said he was out the front, yeah. So I, um, I had a girl there, Ebony. Yeah, and I said, oh, wait, here one sec. And I jumped in the back, went down the road. I said, I'll drive down here. Rah, rah. He thought he was getting ice or something. And then as soon as we got to the corner to turn, because I knew he'd be like, what the fuck you gone down here for? Mm. I grabbed the, the back of his shirt because I sat behind him. And just pinned him to the chair and said, all right, turn down here to the girl. <laughs> yeah. And then I just held him there and like got him to sign it, slapped him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. But, and, and you, how long did you spend inside because of that? Um, two and a half. Is that, is, is that because of your prize? Um, my like that, your prior like sort of convictions yeah, because yeah. of? Tupac. Tupac. Oh, yeah, Tupac. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it's got a Mattel tag. <laughs> a Mary Can point. rapper. That's yeah. really yeah. funny. <laughs> I was, I'm going to do a one pack next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that's so sick. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So the, the guy that owns that actually owns a really big, oh, he ran a really big gallery over in Hong Kong. That's awesome. Bought it from America. Yeah. It seems to be a common that's theme team, yeah. just with your like, I know you were saying him, like you're sticking up for the little guy. I know yeah. the story you just told and the one, in, the guy in prison that was yeah. getting his, where's that come from? Like you just I don't like, know. I just can't help. I don't like people getting picked on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Look, like I feel like, like I like bullies because then I can pick on them. Yeah, because you know? <laughs> like you're obviously a bloke. I like mm, that, you know. But yeah, I, I always had a thing like with karma and that. Yeah, like where people would be like, "Oh, let's rob this guy," and I, I'd say, "What has he done wrong?" Because I'd always have to have something in my head they've done wrong. That's the Otherwise, Buddhism thing too. Buddhism's all karma, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I can't do nothing to him. I feel like it's bad, you know, like yeah, yeah. doing something to a good person, you know. So you got to yeah. give me a reason. <laughs> it's interesting, eh? Hey, because yeah. you're obviously a bloke that can handle yourself, and you could bully people if you wanted to. Yeah. But you'd like doing almost the opposite in a yeah. way. Yeah. Because a lot it's of a lot of people who seem to be like either a good fighter or or, or a scary person or yeah. whatever, or the bad guy, sometimes are the bully. Yeah. But all of a sudden, there's a bullier. Of the bullies. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a scary dude because yeah. no one wants to fuck with them. Yeah. Well, I liked that because I, yeah, when people would say, like, oh, this guy's a good fighter, in my head, I'd have to fight him now. And I'd be like, fuck, why'd you say that? <laughs> you know? I'd always, it's like I'd get jealous. For yeah. the record, you know? I can't fight. Blue yeah. is yeah. a gun. <laughs> Blue is a great fighter. I'm man. not. <laughs> it's like Michael Jordan. Did you that's ever watch the, uh, what was like the just what so was the competitive, you know? Like, mm. I'm just so competitive. What was the docker? Uh, yeah, just the, the MJ. The, doc, the, 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 the last dance. Yeah, the Michael, yeah, yeah, the Michael yeah, yeah, Jordan. Yeah. And, and Michael Jordan was like that. Make Whoever they'd be shit. playing, yeah. he would make up things. He would be like, he didn't shake my hand after the last game. Yeah. So I've got to go and score 50 points now. Yeah. Michael Jordan would do this. You're like the Michael Jordan yeah. bashing people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that should be on your Instagram. The yeah. Great artist, Michael Jordan, yeah. the bashing cunt. Need to yeah. do an MJ. <laughs> hey? Need to paint an MJ. Yeah. yeah. MJ. Have you done an MJ? Nah. Yeah, what about sure. that? Like, I'm not going to tell you what to I've do. I've done a little Kim, like it. Little, little Kim. <laughs> like a real little Kim. Yeah. There's a bit like of nothing else on the. Now nah, there's her, and then there's like a long pair of legs. <laughs> I was going to say, nothing else on the canvas, yeah. just a tiny little there's Kim. A tall guy next to her. There's you a bit of comedy legs. in your art. There's like yeah. there's a good bit of comedy yeah. in what you do. Yeah. yeah. Like, Where's that? Are you a comedy fan as well? Yeah, I love comedy. Yeah. 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 Sick. That's I good. love a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's really cool. Man, there's so many great. I mean, like, if things make me laugh, I'll do them. Like, yeah. 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 That's really cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem, and correct me if I'm like, like too serious. You kind of just seem yeah. to be having fun with it. Or yeah. the, you know, you're not you trying to make through, a comment on anything. You're just kind of drawing fun, fun awesome yeah. stuff, man. It's a pig with a channel. Channel. That's the channel pig. What's the, what's the, oh, the is it a ghost? unicorn? A ghost photo. <laughs> See the legs. <laughs> Someone in their room, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> <laughs> what about what's the um go back, Gabe? What's the um the the derb? Is it Derby or Bur 
Oh, Burberry. Burberry. Yeah. Burberry. <laughs> <laughs> what other ones are? Those are great. Wow. Yeah. What about yeah, the? That's a cool. You're one. prolific. You do a lot. Yeah. What yeah. about the dragon yeah. one? What did that? Did that sell real quick? The dragon one there, like oh, the, the gold oh, dragon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Straight I bet. Asia, yeah. I bet it fucking <laughs> went. No, nah, not that one. The gold one down a yeah, couple and more. And there's a red one too that went straight. Oh, away. Oh, oh, yeah. Not some bloke. Some bloke from the VIP room at fucking. Yeah. In, <laughs> somewhere in Parramatta yeah. picked that one up. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Is it true what they say about? Well, I guess you don't probably don't want to oh, say. There's the Brady Bunch unicorns just down there. <laughs> like the, you go down a little bit. Yeah, there. on the right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Brady, that's great. What a creative mind, man. Yeah. This is sick. Man, How long does it take you to punch nine, one out to man. to make? Oh, look, I'll put like. So I've got two wars, and sometimes I can do three or four at a time. Might take two or three days. What? what and like you just have need to, I can do twenty in a week. Like what? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to cool two hundred k, you just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's good to keep them down too, like yeah. less because then then they're worth more. Yeah, people have to wait for more them. demand. Yeah, like them cards are held back for ages. Yeah, and now people like a lot they of want people them. are wanting them. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. Have you ever thought about doing other things other than just like canvas pieces, or are there other I things? Do, um, like three D ones. Okay. So if I see like, um, like I've got heaps of them little pigs from Bunnings I paint, and okay, um, I've got. Gorillas. Are there any of those on your gram? Nah, nah, I haven't. I haven't oh, you've got sculptures, don't you? I've yeah. seen, I've seen the sculptures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, are they on there? Uh I don't know if they. Oh, are they be on. They might be on your maybe. website. Yeah. 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 But there's like, um, do you make the sculptures or do you just nah. paint You paint the sculptures? I just paint them, yeah. Sick. I just found them once and I was like, oh, I'll paint that just like a canvas. Yeah. 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 And then it was cool and people wanted them. I'm like, oh, all right, sweet. I'll sell them. Yeah. Yeah. And they and I sell fake shit. So it's a fake sculpture. Yeah. I didn't yeah. sculpture it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what you do. Yeah. Still into bootlegging. Yeah. <laughs> Great art of steel, isn't yeah. it? Isn't that what I say? I believe oh, yeah. so. Yeah. I love that you take it seriously, but also you fuck around with everything. Yeah. Like there's always this sort of like, like I you feel are like taking. If you can a make si- people laugh or smile, like you're in. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because that's sort of how I like. Like in my office, I have a giant portrait of me as the Kramer. Yeah. And it's sort of like it's like a cool like painting, but it's also like dumb. Like yeah. It's stupid. Like why would you have a fucking self portrait of yourself? <laughs> yeah. Like that's stupid, right? But it's also fun yeah. in a certain respect oh, as well. One, um, this is a good one. It's um, it was just plain green. I actually found this frame in a second-hand store, like this big fancy frame. Yeah. So I bought it. There was wood in the back of it, so I just painted it on the wood. And I just painted straight green. Then I just did an outline of a person, <laughs> just like pretty, sort of just like, not like a stick person, but just mm. the wide outline. And he's got a big dick like this <laughs> holding it. And he's looking like that. And he says, my dick is bigger than yours, but in my words. <laughs> and I sent it to um, Melbourne and I said, Make sure I said only sell it to someone that's really rich. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and she, she said as soon as it got in there, like into the carport, like bang, someone took it. Didn't even get into the gallery. Wow. And then um, <laughs> the guy sent me a photo of it, and he's in Melbourne. And his whole front uh, door is glass, so you can see it from the road. It's just sitting there behind <laughs> him. Is a big water view, like he's in this big mansion. Right. Yeah, My and I'm just bigger. standing there like. That's, that's so good. Yeah. Ego that. of doom on that. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Have, have you got those pieces? Like, how funny would this be? Like, just give it to someone. My dick's bigger than yours. That's like, amazing. Can you can yeah. you have a can you have a look over Nathan's name and then um? I, I, went, on the, I went on the website. Sculptures. But I couldn't find the sculptures. Well, sculptures. Just yeah. Google it because I, I want to see these sculptures. They're very cool. Probably, um, check out check out like Nathan's Instagram. What's your Instagram, bro? Um, Nathan Patterson Art. Okay, go and check out. That is, that's on my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Page. No, I just mean for people listening. Oh, go and yeah. go and check out his Instagram because yeah. there's so many. Because you really have to see these if you're just listening to this on Spotify. Because a lot of, most people listen to this on Spotify. Oh yeah. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. Because maybe we should have said this. earlier. I was going to say not a great <laughs> medium for talking about awesome art. Because <laughs> you really <laughs> should see these. Because I just realized maybe they don't. There's like there's like some elephants and stuff there. Maybe you don't. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Fuck yeah! Audio listeners, yeah. <laughs> Isaac is. This is a real. This, this is a YouTube episode. Can you yeah. can you yeah. airdrop a couple, please, just yeah. to just to show Gabe? Um, this is a real YouTube episode. This one. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> no, no, it's good. Suss them out. Suss them out. Wow, man. Yeah, I can't seem to find your sculptures online, sir. So. Sculptures. Sculptures. <laughs> like sculptures. Sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> what else could you do? 
And I'm not trying to tell you what to do. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, what else? Do you do, you do oh, any? Well, do you making, do murals? They're making toys in um Hong Kong for me. What? Really? Yeah. What kind of toys? So That's sick. A pink dinosaur and an orange tiger. And with do the big claws, just like my ones. Yeah. What? What about? That's crazy. Can you yeah. see there? There's a little packet on the table. There's a packet of cause um cards. Th- these aren't like they're. It's maybe like a ten dollar packet. These are yeah. from Cause. Cause the big collection cards. Oh yeah. From 1995, open those. These have never been opened. They're, you know, they're quite old. They're nearly 30 years old. <laughs> Bro's doing a pack but opening. Pack opening. I love this shit with like Pokemon cards and stuff. Like oh, I'm yeah. really big into that. You could do like your own trading cards. Yeah. Like, like a one oh, of yeah. one. And there could be like sort a one of one sort of pink yeah. dinosaur or something. They're all stuck together. <laughs> what are they all? Someone's oh. built cores on them. They're, they're all the same. Oh, no. They're all like different like cores, maybe cans maybe. and- Oh, they're advertising. Advertisements, maybe. yeah. Yeah. Like imagine that in like Asia where like trading cards yeah. are big and there's like one that's signed and it's yeah. like oh, a trading card. Art trading got, card. It's got a unicorn thing on it. And it's like a, a one of one yeah. original. Like, Rose describing like NFTs. Pink dinosaurs and there's one with the unicorn. And that's you know? the only yeah. one. Or like every single so there's ten so say there's ten thousand cards. Yeah. And there's like a hundred packs. Or like there's a thousand packs with ten in in, yeah. in each pack. And only one card. Has the unicorn head on yeah. it, and then one dude pulls it and gets it graded, <laughs> and it's worth a fucking mint. <laughs> and you're just at home, yeah. just going, "Fuck the dude. lot of you." <laughs> My dick's bigger. My dick's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cool. These cause ones. These are. What's your favourite part about being a professional artist now? What? It- oh, I just like the freedom. It's so good, you know. Like be- after being trapped in jail for so long, mm. like I-, I don't have a schedule. I don't have anything, you know. Mm. Like I, I just. Go where I want to go, paint when I want to paint. Yeah. Yeah, travelling. I've been overseas. Like, I actually never thought that I would be able to go overseas again after jail. Yeah. And then they gave me a passport. I was like, fuck, like, I knew I could go to Thailand. But I just thought I'm going to be a criminal in and out, you know. So, mm. like, I didn't know it no other way. And then I went to Thailand. Then I went to um, Korea and Japan, right? like, all in the last year. Wow. Three countries, yeah. How was it? awesome like i just loved it you know it was like a dream felt yeah. like i shouldn't be there like i was there illegally but yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time you've broken the law yeah. mate don't worry about it yeah. <laughs> that's mm. awesome yeah that's sick but it was good career was good because at my exhibition they they actually thought like i was famous some people we well, are yeah <laughs> so you're like, a famous artist yeah, yeah you they're are. like going ah screaming and i was signing really like, really yeah proper fans yeah i was That's like shit i've got real fans like this is crazy wow and in asia they don't fuck around with famous they, they do no. fandom. They, they go full yeah. in like yeah. you see like with um what's the, the what's k-pop the boys k-pop, k-pop boys. bts yeah. BTS, yeah. like that's that's like the Beatles type of stuff. They had a pop up store in Pitt Street the other day. BTS, did they? Big lineup half, halfway through the mall. Yeah, wow. how big was the lineup? I bet it was massive. Like 50, 60 meters. Yeah. <laughs> so they were there before it even opened. I was like, "What's this?" Oh, yeah. really? Like another lineup, you know? And then I'm like, "Oh shit, BTS." I remember BTS. <laughs> and it was just the dodgiest shit in there. Like, yeah, <laughs> so oh, a lot yeah. of mugs and fucking. Yeah, like, I remember I had um. Pop stick with a face on. I had. <laughs> oh, so BTS weren't even there. Nah. No, it was a oh. pop-up store <laughs> selling, yeah, pop-up selling store. their merch. Yeah. All right. And when I looked in, it looked so dodgy. I was yeah. like, this is just like crap. Yeah, it would have been shit. I, um, yeah. I remember, I think it was Alex Williamson. He's a comedian. I don't know if you know Shooter Williamson. No. You might know his face, Gabe. Lucius Dozzy Blow. Lucius Dozzy Blow. If you ever saw that. You might oh, know. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Shooter. He said yeah. something. It was definitely Shooter. It was definitely yeah. Shooter. Yeah. He said something about BTS. He, ba- he bagged him out or something. Bagged oh, him yeah. out. And he was talking mad shit, whatever. Um, and then the BTS fans, the stands, <laughs> this bloke, Shooter. Yeah. Very funny guy. Got some issues. Gets in trouble a bit. <laughs> but he had them all just go after him. And so I was trying to like, you know, I thought the BTS fans were bullying him. So I talked some shit trying to jump on the train. (laughs) And man, like I put this video on Twitter and I was like, fuck BTS. I hate their music. I'd never heard their music. I don't even know who they were. I was just trying to jump on. Um, So I jumped on a plane, (laughs) plane to the Gold Coast and I uploaded it. The flight took off. Might have had like 100 views or whatever. 
by the time it landed, it had hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> and these BTS people were hammering me. I had no idea who they were. They were like, you're a racist. We fucking hate you. We're coming for you. We're going to shut you down. And they were ringing all the venues that I was doing shows at, cancelling the shows, saying they were my management and we have to cancel tonight's show and all uh, this type of shit. Just a normal Tuesday Just a you. normal Tuesday for yeah. me. I'm always getting cancelled. And they were into <laughs> me. And I'd never seen anything like it. They were just ha- like... They were signing me up for fake things on on emails. I was getting thousands of emails <laughs> from all these things, and so I end up having to delete to delete the video. It was the only yeah. time I've ever sort of like like succumb to cancel right. culture oh, yeah. when yeah. that because they just overwhelm me. Like you don't want to fuck with them, so yeah, don't fuck with yeah. BTS. <laughs> you can fuck with any other bully, but not yeah. BTS. They're the ones yeah. you don't want to fuck with. They're scary. The old Korean, um, the old Korean mob. Mm-hmm. What do you call it? Good Korea. Good Korea. Yeah. No, <laughs> not North Korea. North good Korea. Korea. Yeah. <laughs> what did you, was that what you said? The good Korea or nice yeah. Korea? I didn't say anything. It is actually so nice. Yeah, you did. Everyone's what? so nice there, eh? I bet they are. Yeah. They're fucking nice. No, you said in the ice bath, you said nice Korea. Didn't oh, you? did I? Yeah. Something like that. In the ice bath. That was being cold. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was panic. That was panic. Um, Oh, well, thank you, mate. Thank you for coming along. I really appreciate no that. Um, You've lived a hell of a life. A hell of yeah. a life. <laughs> yeah. And you're not even 40 yet. You're almost no. 40. That's great. Yeah. What are you going to do for your 40? Like you got to Yeah, I plan to party already. Yeah. Well, I've invited people from like I've known since kindergarten that I haven't seen for years and years. Yeah. So from kindergarten, primary school, high school, um Maryland's Guildford, the Central Coast. Yeah, like what are, what are people from but like your the old days think of where you're at now? Oh, they think it's crazy. I get it so is many crazy. messages yeah. now like of people going like they they're proud of me, I'm inspiring them like. You probably are inspiring a lot yeah. of people, mate, especially like yeah. doing something like the area well, that you're from. Yeah. I'd say it's probably not conducive to people yeah. being creative yeah. and expressing themselves. Yeah. I met you today and I'm proud of you. I'm yeah. like this is so cool. <laughs> but you you've come from where you've come from. You're making a very good living expressing yourself and being creative. The big people looking at you going the drunk, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. But you'd be inspiring people yeah. to do it. It's fucking awesome. I was extremely violent, you know what I mean? So yeah. They, if I can do it, anyone even halfway there can do it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, It's awesome. Yeah. There, are, there awesome. are a lot of kids who are stuck in that Western Sydney because my old yeah. man's from Western Sydney and, like, yeah. you know, we're talking 70s and 80s um, from Penrith. Yeah. And, like, there are a lot of people that just never got out. Yeah. They never got out of there. You know, people from even more inner city, like Redfern and yeah. stuff, like, they just never got out. It's and funny because I, I was hiding everything too from everyone. Like, the... um. Like all my past, I thought, you know, I'm, yeah. I've changed my life. I'm just going to be an artist now. I don't want to be judged on that. I don't want my art to be judged on that. And also I don't want people to think, oh, he's he's cool because of that. I'll buy the art. Like I want my art to be to good. To speak for know? itself. Yeah. yeah. But then when I started getting the messages from people that actually knew me and have seen me change my life, they started telling me, oh, you got to tell people your story. You know, you can help people. Yeah. Like help kids that are in trouble and, and mm. other people, like even late in life. I mean, I didn't change until I was 36. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I so. was I was thinking about this the other day. They they had this um, delivery uh, truck or something that was sort of intercepted by the police going to an outback community with their banned grog. I don't know if you oh, saw okay. that. No, I didn't see oh. it. No. So in some indigenous communities, they won't let any alcohol. Yeah, in, which dry, I think dry communities, dry, which I think is just crazy to tell like an adult that you can't do something. Yeah. Like I just think it's mad. And they're like, no, no, we can't let them have alcohol. But in reality, it's like you just got to give them something to do. Yeah, but there has to. You can't just say no. You can't have this one thing. Like you have to give people something. Like they need something to put their like sink their teeth into you. Yeah, and for you it was art. Yeah, and for other people it might yeah. be might be boxing or it might yeah. be MMA or it might yeah. be you got to keep busy. Whatever like, it is, yeah. you have to keep your mind yeah, busy. You cannot sit there and, and do nothing. Like yeah. I lose I lose the plot when I'm not busy. Yes, yeah, like I have to be busy yeah. otherwise I get anxious yeah. and I get freaked out and I panic. And yeah. it's the way with a lot shit. of creative people, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I lose my I lose. I hate it. I hate. Like it. I jump up in the morning and that's it. I'm up all day until I lay down again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some weekends. Like if I've got nothing on, I'm like freaking out. Yeah, like, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do with my time? Yeah. So. I don't know, that's just a weird sort of creative thing. Gabe, you're not like that. You like to lay around and do fuck all. Mate, I'll take a, I'll take a rest if they're going. I, I was about to oh, say, I'm pretty lazy. My was trying to calm me down the other day. Who was, sorry? My psych, she's like yeah. trying to talk slower and lower and then she asked me a question. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like... <laughs> breathe, bro, breathe. I was like, yeah, I can't calm down. I'm just copying you like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I mean, it's like that. Yeah. There's another thing like I'm with very high strung, yeah. Another thing with like ADHD and stuff that as well. I can do it. You can, yeah. Like I can wind down. You know, a great way to bring your sort of the way you think and everything down is the ice bath. 
Oh yeah. So we got an ice bath over there. So you can say the ice. I was the like, ice. we've touched on that. It's not <laughs> the ice, not so much. <laughs> it's not good for that. But when you're in there, so I was in there today. It was four and a half degrees, and I was in there for five and a half minutes, the longest I've ever done, the coldest. And I couldn't think of anything else but how much I hated it. Yeah. And I was just like, this is fucked. And you, but it's almost like meditation. Yeah. Because they th- they say to think about your thoughts and that type of stuff with meditation, yeah. and I've never really been able to do it. But when you're in that. And all you can think about is how much, how cold it is. Yeah. And you yeah. have to sort of find a way to think about other things. But it's a great way to sort of be mindful and yeah. all those type. Of, like for people who have really like always struggled to sort of be mindful. It's the same with like boxing and, and training. Like training sucks, yeah. but you enjoy the suck. Yeah. It's like the same with that. You enjoy the suck. Yeah. And but it only reward, takes a, the reward after too. Yeah. The reward is getting out. Yeah. It's like the same with finishing yeah. training. Like oh, this yeah. run, these doing these laps of footy training, sprints. Whatever, uh, or rounds on a bag. Yeah. This sucks, but at the end, it feels amazing. Yeah. Maybe painting, like it's a long, it's a long, whatever, like a long piece. Yeah. Oh, it takes a lot of time. It is because it's always shit until it's finished. And then it's done. Yeah. And you're like, look I, at I, I how good's this? Stop until I get that feeling. Like I'll look at it and I'll get a feeling like, yes, like yeah. exciting, you know? And that's what I want to give to someone because if they come in and they don't get excited by it, there's no point in being there. You know what I mean, might as well take it down. Well, it's, yeah, so it's like that, that's how I want my work. You know, I recently just wrote a book, oh, yeah. and through the whole thing, I was like, "Fuck, this is hard." But yeah. at the end, I was like, "Easy, yeah, let's no. do another one." You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's it's just it's different. Like for you, Blue, putting up scaffold, putting up scaffold. I mean, it's, it's pretty <laughs> much the exact same. same yeah. what you <laughs> I mean, it's the exact same. Yeah, <laughs> I just look at it and go. That's legal. It's not going to fall over. <laughs> that's going to stay up. That it's good. feeling of joy. It and I just, that's done. And it fills me. And I look at I go, someone else is going to look at that and feel that way. And then fucking it's done. Yeah. And I sign that scaff tag, send the invoice and I'm out. <laughs> well, it's Nathan, the exact same. Nathan, thank you very much for coming in, no, brother. Thanks, and, boys. I and, appreciate it. And next time you go over uh, to Asia or, or, or anywhere and you do a gallery, yeah. we'd love to have you back in and, and talk yeah, about your, yeah. uh, your, your journey over there. in October to give a talk. Well, mate, after that, yeah. we'd love to have you back and talk yeah. about your time in London. And if you have any artwork that's sitting around that won't sell, we'd love to have yeah. We'd yeah. love it. To have sound, it. it doesn't sound like that's a problem. <laughs> well, if there's any ones that got no, a, big, a big hole in it or yeah. something, like a yeah. dodgy <laughs> one, just like the corner's missing yeah. or whatever. There was one with a big hole and I just patched it up and, <laughs> and then I wrote, there was a big hole here and I didn't know how to fix it. <laughs> and it went for 10 grand. 50K, boom, done. Yeah, it's gone, yeah. yeah. I showed him it too. I said, this is where I tried to patch it up and patch it up. <laughs> a million yeah. bucks, done. Yeah. You got the modest like, oh, touch. this is dodgy, let's, let's paint on this, yeah. Um, I'll awesome. Just, what was your Instagram again? Sorry, brother. Nathan Patterson Art. Go and check that out, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. P-A-D-D-I-S-O-N. That's what threw me. Yeah. That's what threw me. It is the start. Yeah. Patterson Art. Yeah. Patterson Art. Um, Nathan Patterson Art. Go and check it out. Go and follow him. Check out your website. Yeah, it hasn't been updated for a while, but yeah, probably just Instagram. Just check out the gram. Check out the <laughs> yeah. gram. There's or some Facebook cool. Too or as Facebook one. as yeah. well. Um, brother, thank you very much. I really appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate it, mate. Louis, thank you. Thank you for your time. Well, Gabo. Some yeah. of your best, big fella. Go the Blues tonight. Go the Blues, yeah, Origin. Well, well this won't be out until tomorrow, so yeah. it might be fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no, no back. Go us. Queensland earlier. Go, yeah, go the. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even say. Are you a Queenslander? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the show's not going. Can it? Because my mum was when I was little, and like everyone in the house went for New South Wales, so I backed her. Oh, you just uh, went stick up for the little guy again. again. Always yeah. about the bullies, yeah. 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 <laughs> and you're a good bloke. You're a good bloke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening to this. Uh, Jim's mowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, the Jim's. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye.